but look, she, look, 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 you look. look. <laughs> Howdy folks, you on the Seek on the Speed 252 show. Scroll over to the right, click that subscribe button, and join this awesome community. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode, yes, of Seek on the Speed 252. And I want to thank each and every single one of you for pushing that play button today. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go anywhere on your tablet or your computer screen or your TV screen or your telephone and hit the subscribe button. Become part of this awesome community. Become part of this journey. I would love to have you. Give this video a thumbs up and always remember to leave your comments down below because I love reading each and every single one of you guys' comment down below. So. I'm really surprised that this is happening right now, but as you guys can see, I'm inside a C8 mid-engine Corvette, a brand new C8 Corvette with only 614 miles, which means it is just recently broken. As you guys can see, I'm also on the passenger side, and this is not my C8 Corvette because I don't usually do black interior, but with that being said, I'm in the passenger seat once again, and there is a special surprise for you in the driver's seat, and I'm going to put the camera on it right now. This is my girlfriend, Brittany, who's driving her dad's 2023 C8 mid-engine Corvette, which is interesting because I think she's driven some in the past, correct? Oh, yeah. And I think that she's a little nervous because she just flew it and was like, ah. But at the end of the day, she doesn't drive it often, so I get it. It's a lot of horsepower for a newbie. <laughs> it's a lot of horsepower for a newbie. So her dad decided to let her take it out for a spin. We drove down here. And uh, he's a huge Corvette guy. I think he's owned a C7 Stingray thus far. He's owned a 2021 C8 Corvette. It had a little bit of issues, I thought, right, with the motor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and um, he got it fixed on a warranty, but ended up selling it because, you know, the market was so crazy at that time. So he got what he paid for it, and he put a new order in, and he actually ended up getting this 2023 C8 Corvette. I'm going to make another video later on talking about his spec and his details and things like that. But, look, she's, look, 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 you, look. <laughs> But it's, it's super fun to be inside. I really appreciate the horsepower, the sound, and, and, and just him letting us drive this car, actually. Right now, about to head to dinner and have a wonderful time with his friends, and I think she's really enjoying this bad boy. Okay. So, like, what's one of your favorite things about a Corvette? It's just sexy. I don't know. Oh, it's just sexy? <laughs> oh, so you, what you're trying to say, is it better than me? Is it more sexy than I am? Maybe it's, like, equal. No, oh, it's an equal. Sec, oh, I, she's asleep on the couch tonight. Just so you guys know, <laughs> she's on the couch tonight. Um, anyways, I will say he has a convertible. As you guys know, I love love convertibles. It's one of my favorite things at this point. As you guys know that I used to own a coupe, and I sold my coupe, and I waited a little bit because I thought the market was going to be really great for the Z06. Although you know the Z06 got pushed back, so I decided to get another Stingray. And I love my Stingray. I got a convertible, one LT, black with red interior black wheels which are aftermarket wheels and I love driving that car mine is completely broken with 1600 miles on it roughly 1600 miles on it and it's just a fun thing to drive so if you guys haven't had an opportunity yet to drive a CA Corvette Stingray you should definitely do so because it's fun I mean look at her she's smiling all the way look, look she can't stop smiling and my motto is every mile is a smile as you guys know I love driving my C7 Corvette I love driving my C8 Corvette and I have never let her drive mine, so I'm so thankful that our dad letting her drive his. <laughs> so that way, I don't have to take that risk personally, to be honest with you. Because every time she asks in the past, I'm kind of like, ah, I don't know. Right now, we're in tour mode. She's going about 63 miles per hour, which is, you know, the normal speed limit. Actually, um, I would like her to actually keep it on the 70 because I'm a little nervous myself, if I'm being honest. Uh, we can go a little faster. <laughs> no, we can't go a little faster. <laughs> keep that bad boy in tour mode. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> No, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, okay, so you like the Corvette because it's a sexy car, correct? Yeah, and it's, um, I like the way we sit in it, I like the buttons, I like the leather. You like the buttons? So what do you think about the, the center console? Like, what is your thoughts? A lot of people say they don't like it because they feel like it separates the driver and the passenger. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, I actually like it. Really? I like kinda, yeah, it's different. I've never been in a I car agree. with it. 
Yeah, I will say the same thing. I think like when people first started asking me about it, I thought it was something that looked exotic. Yeah. Something that's different, something that's special. I think it does separate the passenger and the driver just a little bit. It does. But it's not like, you know, I'm but trying it's not to bad. I mean I'm still sitting it's four inches from you. Still. You need to keep your hands on the steering wheel, young lady. <laughs> Do not bring your hand on this side of the car. Like this. No. <laughs> oh wait, hang on. Toe row. I know, but you gotta stop. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we should always keep both hands at a ten and two is what they say. Um, but yeah, I think uh, the CA Corvette is a phenomenal car, man. If you guys have an opportunity to drive one or you have one on order, I definitely think you will look forward to driving. If you do have a CA Stingray on order, leave your comments down below. What's your colors? What's your spec? What are you looking forward to the most? I definitely think one thing he needs to add to this car is tinted windows because this tinted windows, they need to be tinted for sure. Because um, the sun is just smacking in the face right now, for sure. But I really, man, I just, I'm so thankful that you give us opportunity to drive. All right, so two things you already said is one of your favorite things about the car is very sexy yeah. the second thing is you like the console mm -hmm. so this obviously isn't your first time driving a ca corvette because you drove your dad's first car what was the color like was it white on the outside it was red red on mm -hmm. oh red miss yeah. okay red miss mm -hmm. and then what color interior uh, I think it was black. black okay well seemed like he liked black interior very yeah. loud you know yeah. Even though I feel like with a white car, he definitely should have got red interior. What do you guys think? I think with white car, red and red seats sounds oh, pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's one of your favorite combinations. I was gonna say, I love that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So when you drove his first CA Corvette, was you nervous? Were you excited? Was it both? I was so excited. I think I made a little nervous because I went on the highway instead of going the right way. Oh really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you remember how fast you drove that one? Um, I think I got it up to like ninety something. What were you doing? There's no word. <laughs> There's no speed limits that are 90. I know. Yeah, I know. I think it's like a 55, which we were there. Oh my gosh. Was <laughs> your dad in the car at the same time? He was. And he allowed it to happen? He he just kind of covered his eyes a little bit. Oh, I'm going to definitely give him some crap for that one. <laughs> totally give him crap for that one. So, if you had an opportunity, would you own one yourself? Would you buy a Corvette yourself? Or is it just not your thing to buy? Oh, I don't know. Um, I think I'll just stick to driving yours. Oh no, that's, that's that's not a good response. Not a good response at all, guys. No. How many of you guys let your wives drive your Corvette? If you guys say a lot, then I'll probably reconsider. Um, no, I'm kidding. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys probably let your wives drive your Corvette, which is completely fine. I'll let you drive mine. I'll let you drive mine. <laughs> I saw that. Oh, you ready? Oh, I didn't know you was paying attention to me like that. Yeah. Oh man, that's so funny. I mean. I think the one thing I do love about a Corvette, honestly, is that is um, that is it's sort of kind of affordable. It doesn't cost as much as a Lamborghini, which is my dream car. Um, it doesn't cost as much as a 911 Porsche or a McLaren, which is her favorite car. She loves the McLaren. I mean, I don't know what about the McLaren that she loves, but she loves the McLaren. I really do think the McLarens are really good-looking, sexy cars for sure. But they're so expensive and they're hard to maintain. Whereas with the Corvettes, it's a lot of a lot more affordable, easy to maintain easy to drive easy to understand and i think you know it's bang for your buck is what most people will call it i mean i guess you wouldn't know that part because you don't really own a corvette so you wouldn't know the bang for your buck but you look good driving it oh. you know i feel safe for now but uh because <laughs> we're going 30 miles it's because we're going 30 miles an hour okay that that makes more sense I felt like earlier or she was pushing the gas pedal i didn't know what the heck was happening over there yeah, no, it took and a minute to figure out how to work it a little bit has it been that long since you drove his first one it's been a couple of years. Yeah. Oh, so he, so it was a 2020 model then. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's what even a 2021. I thought it was a 2021. Actually, it might have been a 2021. Maybe it was about a year ago. Maybe about a year ago. Yeah. Um, with that being said, which one of the Corvettes do you like the most between this one and the other one? The Red Mist with the black interior and the Arctic White with the black interior. I would like the Arctic white, but I wish the seats were red. You wish the seats were red? Mm. Mm, I can see that. Yeah. I love the white, though. Mm -hmm. it, do you think the white looks cleaner than the red mist? I think so. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I, I, if I had a choice, to be honest, I think the red mist would be my option. I think the red mist is more of a classy color. Oh, it's beautiful. With natural interior, I believe that would be my combination. Um, and I think with the white, the white, is, the white looks good. It's clean. It's just you have to keep it clean. And it's just one of those things where it will show dirt pretty easily. And I just feel like you will find white on every other car. You'll see a white truck, a white Toyota Camry, but you won't see red mist that often. That's just my personal opinion. But hey, this is like my car, so. That's true. Um, yeah. But 
you know, if you like white, you like white. So there's nothing wrong with that. One of the things that I think that General Motors did good was choosing, you know, some good color collections. I think that Chevrolet should come out with a green at some point or a purple at some point. I think those colors would be great. Um, if you had a choice between green and purple, which one would you go with? Purple. See, Chevrolet, we need a purple. You would have more women buying Corvettes if you can get a purple color. I, that's what I believe. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Once again, thanks for Brittany for driving this Corvette and getting us to our destination safely and Amen. giving her some airtime as well and seeing her gorgeous smile as we all appreciate. And I uh, will catch you guys in another episode of Steve on the Speed 252. I'm out. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I received a lot of emails asking for updates on my acting career. So with that being said, I put a small clip on my recent project. Let's go. Is your seat bed fasting? All right. Let's go.